Well, I got an SOS call from Ryan. He's about eight miles north cutting stalks and he's out of fuel. It's, I don't know how much more he has left to go, but we're racing rain, so this is when that stuff kind of is guaranteed to happen. I got the portable tank in the back of my pickup, filling out of the main tank. Say, if you guys have seen in Ryan's videos last year, I had the tank mounted in the front of my truck, in the front of the box. Uh, I'm going to try to avoid doing that this year because I don't enjoy it. Because it's nice having the full box of the truck available all summer, all winter. And we really only need this in the spring and fall, as far as the portable tank goes. But I'm going to just keep it on the pallet that it's on, so you can see that. Granted, this is just a quick temporary hookup right now, but I'm going to strap it down better the next day or two here. It'll be nice being able to take it in out of the pickups. We can put it in any of the trucks. That way just one truck isn't dedicated to it. Plus we can take it out when we don't need it. But once this gets done filling here, it doesn't even have to be full full because the tractor only holds 60 gallons and this is a 100 gallon tank. But no, I'm you could have caught me at a better time because I was actually going to be uh, heading out in the field myself. Might be why that 8235 is sitting outside right now. And you know what? I've been sitting here for long enough. It should be pretty well full. Worst comes to worst, I'll just put it all in the 76 and let her go. <clears throat> Rocket, you coming or going? Well, that answered that. It's thinking like it wants to rain. Oh, gotta love Wisconsin weather, right? Oh, and FYI, this is my new camera. I can actually, I can see what you guys can see, so I'm actually looking at the camera, and I can see if uh, the sun's glaring me out. Yeah, I'd like to get these stalks out. There isn't a whole lot there, but it's still, it's chopping them up, it's knocking them over, and it allows the bacteria in the ground to break them up. They were saying rain at five, it's currently quarter after six. It's getting kind of dark again, whether or not we actually see anything or not is yet to be seen. But yeah. I wish we weren't getting all this moisture. I think there's a lot of guys in the country that are saying that. Well, I say it. The ground's still cold, but it's a broken record. You hear that every year that the ground's too cold to start planting, and you see a guy in the field running, and oh, that dumb sob. That corn isn't going to come up because the ground isn't to a certain degree temperature. Mother Nature, guys. I as much as they claim they got this stuff down to a science, I, sometimes things just do what they do. Say for being so cold, the weeds are definitely growing. The fields are turning green. The grass is about six inches tall. Just between yesterday and today, the trees have, well, they're <laughs> really uh, coming, coming in green. Yeah, that sure looks like rain right there. I don't know. 
I'm waiting on anhydrous bar. Whether or not I see it or not, we'll see. But I would have liked to have gotten it before we get a bunch of rain and I gotta sit in my hands for another two or three days. I'll catch back up with you here once I get up there. So you ran the track out of fuel? At least you didn't run it completely out. Oh, there's no time for us here. If I was or not, because the first time I saw it, the fuel gauge is empty. So I was coming up a hill, I'm like, ooh, ooh, the tractor was going, uh, 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 uh. I'm like, ah, ah, ah. That gets your ass tight really quick. Jeez, this is why we can't have nice things. That's right, it's not meant to be sat in the shed and look at. Pretty sure that's rain right there. Yeah, another hour, hopefully I can get it done. But. See, uh, folks, this is what you call an in-field pit, uh, in pit stop. How much fuel to bring? I don't know. Springtime, folks. We don't clock out until the crop's in, right? Well, I'm gonna get him fueled up and moving again, and I'm gonna head back home. So, keep in touch. Take it easy. I'll see you next time. Go ahead and hit subscribe and check out my Facebook and Instagram. Get more of that guy and this guy. And the dog. <laughs> Bye. It's 8.30 at night. <sighs> Ryan just got back home from up north. So how'd it do? Good. Any more problems other than getting low on fuel? How to work the stocks up? Granted, they're already kind of rotten. Better than anything else. And tomorrow we're gonna go ahead and clean that mower up, blow off all the stocks. We're gonna take it out to one of the other places and park it in the shed, get it out of the way for another month or so. Cause we're gonna be. Shuttling in and out of here with planting equipment here really quick. So stay in touch, guys.